for Hayden Benny Sports 84. Bernard Hopkins claims the coverless stop stoppage was legit and world war him down. Let's get into a few of his statements. I think it was legit. I think one punch was borderline on the belt, but I think leading up to the stoppage with the right hand and also with the pressure, the roughness inside is what won it. Listen, I respect Sergey, and we text each other back and forth sometimes. And Ward figured him out in the, in the first fight. I knew that he was stronger and had more endurance when it got late in the fight, which is the mid rounds, where you seen Sergey breathing, breathing and holding more than he's done in any other fight. And the world used an inside game and muscle and body attack to get Sege tied early, to get a payout in the mid rounds, and not even later. It didn't get to later. So this is the this is Van uh, Hopkins' view of the what transpired on Saturday between the world and Sege Kovalev. This this view has been shared by a number of people as well, which who who have the opinion that the stuff the stoppage was legit. And that cover level was was done. Cover level had been figured out and <laughs> had been put to the sword. I really don't think the stoppage was legit. I don't share the same opinion, but I, I think Andrew Ward would have gotten him out of there eventually. He would have still won the fight regardless of the stoppage. Regardless of the stoppage, I think the referee should have given cover level. She has given him the chance to tell him whether he wanted to continue or not. At least give him the the benefit of the doubt. Let him give you his opinion on it. You don't just stop the fight just like that. But I think Kovalev also didn't conduct himself as a as a feared boxer he, he once was. You don't go out like that. As somebody who has been on the scene for a long time and known as a, a knockout artist and a crusher, the boogeyman, and you go out like that, it's just not good enough. If I'm a fan of Kovalev, I'll be very disappointed in him. You have to show some some uh, some guts and wits about you. You don't just cave in when the going gets tough. The guy is hitting you, even if it was a, a low blow. You don't just sit on the rink, get back into the corner and sit on the rink. Because the guy is giving you low blows. It's just, it's just I don't, I didn't, see, I didn't see Kovalev turning out like this. Somebody who is this strong and vicious boxer, and you go out like that, it's just not good enough. It's very disappointing, especially for his fans. It's very, very disappointing. And the world is not somebody who is even known to be uh, having a, a knockout punch. Or somebody who has a fighter, even Kovalev claimed himself that like, claimed himself that and the world punches like a woman. And yet you succumb like this. It's just, it's just a bad look on Kovalev. Just really bad. <laughs> so I think Kovalev would have lost the fight anyway, but I still think the stoppage was wasn't a good stoppage. If we stopped the fight way too early. But what would have won the fight anyway, <laughs> regardless? So those are my thoughts. If you like the commentary, subscribe and give the video a thumbs up. Make commentaries like this every other day. Thank you for your time. Catch you on the next one. Bye for now.